Hi. Welcome to the listening segment. So quickly, I would quickly walk us through the listening. I have already collated a number of questions for the listening, practice questions basically, which when you get access to this course, you already have access to them. So quickly, let's um, look at the listening test. First of all, what is the listening test? What is the aim of the listening test? That's, that's one question you would want to ask. So can, let's see, the aim of the listening test basically is to check your ability to understand main ideas. Check your, it checks your ability to understand main ideas and their interpretation. That is what the listening test checks you on. Now, what does this mean? This simply means how well you are able to understand what you're listening to, how well you're able to understand and interpret what you are listening to. That's one. Then it also checks your ability to understand the opinion and attitudes of speaker. Now, there's what we call tone. How well are you able to interpret the tone of the speaker when listening to the audio. Then next, they check your ability on the purpose to, to understand the purpose of an utterance. Why are, they, why are they discussing this? What is the essence of this discussion? That is one thing it checks you on. That is another thing it checks you on. Then lastly, it checks your ability to follow the development of an idea. That's basically self-explanatory. So let's quickly this video will not take more than 30 minutes. I don't intend for this video to take more than 30 minutes because it's basically the whole listening test. The idea of the listening test is basically self-explanatory. So basically that's all about the introduction to the listening test. So quickly, what are the segmentation of the listening test? You might want to ask, what are its segmentation? Now, I would say the speaking test, the segmentation of the speaking test is basically divided into four parts. The listening test is divided into four sections, sections one, two, three, and four. Now in section one, this con contains a conversation between two people, two people, and the topic of their discussion is usually, the topic of their discussion is usually based on everyday social context. Could be about maybe booking a hotel, making a reservation, making an inquiry or any other thing, but it's something that happens every day. I believe before you're watching this video, you must have called someone to ask for information about something. That is basically the section one, what the section one checks you on. That is basically the conversation you would find in the section one of the listening test. That kind of a conversation. It could be some, maybe you call the school to enroll your child and then you're asking for the details from the school. That could be one. Then it could also be that maybe um, you wanted to buy a, a phone and then you went to the store to ask some questions. Or it could just be you went into a store and then something picked your interest and you started making inquiries. That, that is basically what that section one is all about and nothing more. Please pay attention to that. Now in this section, it, it's usually a conversation between two people, not more than two people and not less than two people. So take note of this. Then the next one, section two, section two is basically a monologue on an everyday social contest. Could be about, could be a speech about a local facility. 
Um, let me still use you as an instance. Maybe you're going for an excursion and the tour guide is now showing you around the place. That is basically what this section two is about. Then section three contains an academic conversation. That is to say, they said this, this section contains a conversation about a conversation between up to four people set in an academic context. Now, there could be, it could be two people, it could be four people, it could be three people also. Now, what happens here is, these people, they are, discuss, they are discussing maybe about a coursework or anything, but they are basically, but they are basically discussing about academics. It could be between a lecturer and a student. It could be between two or more students discussing about an assignment or a coursework. So take note of this. Then section four, lastly, section four is an academic monologue. An academic monologue. That is a monologue on an academic subject. What is even a monologue, say? I think I have mentioned mono monologue like twice, but I didn't explain that. A monologue is just a conversation, a one-person dialogue. Let me put it that way. A monologue is just a one-person dialogue. That is to say, I am talking, but I am not talking to anyone else. Like in the case of me recording this video, I am making a monologue. So please take note of this. Now it could check, it could check, the, the monologue could be maybe a lecture on the history of tomatoes or an academic speech on social, on the social relevance of a place. Please take note of this. Like the Gettysburg address could be used in this instance. Please read about the Gettysburg address. I'm not going to explain that here. Something like that could be used in this context. So quickly, let's move on to basic listening tips. Basic listening tips. Please, mind you, I said basic listening tips. These tips applies to every other aspect of the test. Every other aspect of the test, these tips apply to them. Now, let's quickly go through this. Let's quickly go through this. Now, the first one is to skim through the listening questions first. Now, why do you do this? this? This simply allows you to have a picture of what the audio will be about and also allow, allow you to select and underline keywords from the question. Okay, quickly, let me explain what keywords is before we move further. Let me explain what keywords are before we move further. Now, keywords, I would always say they are basic words that will not be removed from a passage. Their synonym could be used in some cases, but they will not be removed from the passage. When making this discussion, now it depends on the text you have. You have to note the, uh, some keywords. These are words that are very important that they cannot change them. They cannot remove these words. Words for, like a name of a person, a name of a place. If you find this in the question, definitely know that definitely you would find it in the passage. This even applies to the reading. You would find it in, when in the audio and also in the passage in the reading test. Please take note of this. Now take note of the fact that the listening test, the listening test is an audio. So on your question paper, this is where you'd be able to select and under, underline the keywords. So underline the keywords in your question paper. Now, any keyword, if, any keyword you have underlined in your question paper, take note of it. You must hear it. Now, when selecting keywords, I usually advise my students that when selecting keywords, you have to Number one, take note of name. Could be a name of a person or a name of a place. Number two, acronyms or abbreviation. I don't know what you would call them, but I'm not here, I'm not here for what you call them and I'm not here to correct it. I'm not here to correct that notion. So acronym or abbreviation, World Health Organization, who? They could use World Health Organization in the passage and they, they could use WHO in the question. Take note of this. 
it has not changed. They just used the acronym at some point. It has nothing, nothing changed. So pay attention to that. Then, then, lastly, lastly, pay close attention to numbers. Any number in the question, underline it. They must mention it when discussing the passage. Please take note of this. Thank you. So that is basically about keywords. Now, skim through the passage. Sorry, skim through the question first. This allows you to have a clear picture or have a picture of what the audio would be about. This allows you to have a picture of what the audio would be about. And it also allows you to select and underline keywords from the question. That is one. Then number two, they said, listen for keywords and use signposts and headings. So quickly, let's explain what headings and signposts are. This material is well detailed, basically. So please take note of it. Looking at headings, looking at your question, looking at your question booklet, you see that these headings, these headings that indicate the different parts of the question are being talked about. They must always tell you that, okay, let's talk about this. That is a signpost, but then there will also be an, a heading there. There will, also, there will always be a heading somewhere around there. In every section, there's always a heading. Then the next thing is signpost. The use of signpost usually tell you what next is coming or that something else is coming up. Now, listen to this. Let's talk about dash. That could be an answer. It could be an answer. I'm coming to that. I will be examining, for instance, in addition to this, as well as this, on the other hand, or on the one hand, one major advantage is this. One problem, however, is this. Things like that. Those are all signposts. Please take note of this. Those are all sign posts. Those are all sign posts. So pay attention to these sign posts, things that would usually alert you of an oncoming answer. And fortunately, the good, the good part here is that these sign posts are everywhere. They are almost everywhere in the listening test. So pay attention to this. Then make notes while you listen. Please make notes while you're listening. When the audio starts playing, you should write your answer. Write your answers on your question paper. That is what we simply mean by make notes while listening. While listening, make notes. This is simply what we mean by that. Usually, Usually, write your answers on your, questions, on your question paper first before you now start thinking of how you would transfer it. Transferring your answer, they would always give you 10 minutes to do that. So please take note of this fact. They will always give you 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the question paper. Sorry, to the answer booklet. But write down your answers and now, let me give you one secret in the listening test. When attempting the listening test, right, when you're making notes, please pay, take note of more than two words. 